everyone. Welcome to the six o'clock show of Reflections, our fall winter musical. Um, okay, it's been an interesting semester, hasn't it? Um, I, I know a lot of people already came to the three o'clock one, so you're gonna hear me give this spiel again. But uh, yeah, I feel like Reflections is uh, kind of on the nose for the title of the show because there's been a lot of reflecting going on with students getting back into school, some of them in high school for like the very first time after a year of being online. Um, and the way Top Note has been evolving over the years, we're sort of at like a big turning point where there's gonna be a lot of big changes in our future. And a lot of our kids have gotten older and it's just a different time, it really is. And it's been really cool this semester because a lot of the kids we've had are either They've either been around and haven't really had the opportunity to get as like big solos and big parts, or it's their their very inexperience. Some of them, actually, like a third of them, it's their first show ever. Actually, three o'clock was their first show ever. They're on their second show now. So they're professionals. Yes. Normally, we do a book show in the fall, like something like Aladdin or The Lion King with a plot. Um, but we thought it might be easier to do sort of a mishmash of different solo songs and duets and group numbers centered around a single theme with a couple of acting scenes, similar to what we do in the summer. We were wrong, it was just as hard. Um, and, but the kids have really, really risen to this challenge and there have been a lot of curveballs thrown at us. We actually had uh, one of the performers dropped very suddenly a few weeks ago, and we had to bring in one of our veteran performers to cover at the very last minute um, in the course of like two weeks. I think she came to maybe like three, four rehearsals. Um, and then we had another child who uh, I'm very sad to say was not feeling well this morning, so her part is covered by her very talented siblings and extremely proud of them. You're gonna be super impressed. You're not even gonna notice at all because they did a really great job with it. Um, and I'm really, really sad that she can't be with us, but I'm hoping that I will be able to give her more opportunities to perform in the future. So, I hope you all really enjoy this. Everybody worked so hard on it and dodged a lot of curveballs and put their heart and soul into it, myself included. So thank you once again for letting me, let me work with your kids. They're so awesome and they make my whole world worth living. It really is amazing. Uh, top Note Performing Arts is my life, and it is thanks to all of you and your continued support that I am allowed to do what makes me feel whole. So thank you so much for that. And I hope you will really enjoy it. Yeah. 
miles. When you're falling in a voice, there's nobody around. Wherever you crash or you sound. When you're falling in a voice, and there's nobody around. Do you ever really crash or even make a sound? When you're falling in a voice,
try to try hard to make you proud of your
party. That's like so unbelievable. You're so likable. You're nice. To some extent. <laughs> you're funny. When you're not being offensive. You're not really offensive. Just to some cultures. But it's not that offensive, you know? And you're such a good singer. When your mouth is closed. You give good compliments. When they're not backhanded. You're not a gossip. Unless we're remembering that incident. Or the other incident. <laughs> you won't mess up on anything. I promise you. It's her, not you. <laughs> Thank uh -huh. 
skin in the game, you stay in the game. You don't got to win unless you play in the game. Oh, you got wrong for it. You got hate for it. You got nothing to do. Wait for it, wait for it, wait. God, won't you forgive me? I want to put something on the wall to come with me. What do you want for it? What do you want for it?
And I'll never be what you want to be. And what do you think you'd understand? I'm a boy, no, I'm a man. You don't know me. I 
coochie. Oh yeah, coochie. The rodent resembling another rodent. What was it again? A C O U C H I. That is correct. I might be smart. <laughs> Pretty upset. 
Uh, why would we be upset? Well, I, I know how important it was for you that I got a girlfriend. So when Jenny went off with Josh, it must have really hurt. Yeah, I know. Everybody wants me to be happy. Everybody wants to help me. But usually when they find out they can't, they get frustrated and stop talking to me. Or they trick me into buying them ice cream and then shoving me into a clothes dryer, <laughs> which I didn't want to happen with you guys. So I wanted to make sure you felt you could help. The truth is, lots of girls like me. Because let's face it, I'm pretty adorable. <laughs> and uh, my aloofness unconsciously reminds them of their fathers. So I'm more used to them approaching me. <laughs> so you didn't damage your self esteem or anything? Britta, I got self esteem falling off my thigh. <laughs> That's all I was willing to change for you. Because when you know who you are and what you like about yourself, changing for other people isn't such a big deal. Abed, you are a god. Now, if you will all excuse me, I have to go beat a guy in the pool while wearing shorts. Is that good for something? Oh, but you've inspired me too. People can mock me all they want, but I don't care how I say the word bagel. <laughs> 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 well, we'll go ahead and
talk to them for a few minutes beforehand. Um, so just 